So have you ever set up a character with the images that you can replace for the logo and the computer screen? There's also the tattoo and the computer screen. Um, and then realize maybe I want it to go on the other side. So that's an easy fix, right? You just go to properties and flip it horizontally. But then look what happens to the logo and the image. It's backwards. And I actually made these images from the new scenes that were posted today for All Access Pass. So I just grabbed one of those. And I really wanted to use something with, um, with words because that really stands out as to how it flipped. If you're just using images, it would just be a mirror image and that may not be a problem. But if you have text in something like a logo, that will be a problem. So I'm going to undo that. I flipped her and that's the problem. However, let me just hide this one. You also can make the flip on the side and get it correct. So let me show you how I did that. First, what I did, and I also have a, um, tutorial on all of the different format sizes and how to make those images the right size in Create Studio so you don't have to go to another program or app and I'll link to that in the description. But what I did here, let me ungroup this. What I did here is I just made a black background by making a triangle, expanding it and turning it black and then putting it behind. Whoop, putting it behind. So that's what that is. Then what I did is I just wanted to get some text instead of an image because that will show it a little bit better. And so what I did is I just went to the studio, down to animated tiles, and then I liked that one. So I just downloaded it and then I clicked and dragged it onto the canvas or you can drop it right on the timeline. So now we have this to take an image and to take your screen and make a snapshot, you have to group them first. So I'm going to select both. I use Command G, but you also can right click and group. Now, now I can take a snapshot by right click, take a snapshot. And let's see what happens. If I change this link up, and customize it to the screen, it looks good. If I do that with this one, go to logo, laptop screen, it doesn't work, it's backwards. So we don't want that. We want it to end up looking like this. So what I do, Let's grab Lenka. I'm going to blow her up a little bit. I'm going to add the action of showing the MacBook. You can also have the phone, but that was smaller. I wanted something bigger. You also can put it on the different computer screens down here. I am going to get that out of the way. I would delete it normally, but just in case I need it again. And I want her to be facing the other way. So she's on the side and it's backwards. So if I were to go in here and customize to logo, it's going to be backwards. So what I'm going to do is I am going to bring over into my timeline the snapshot that I took. I'm going to expand it so it fits the whole screen. And yes, the background is black, but I am going to get a rectangle, expand it, turn it black. I am gonna get rid of that. And then I'm going to put it in the background of the text. Now I need this, the text. Now I need to flip that. 
and it's backwards. Now I select both, right click, group, and now I take the snapshot and you see it's backwards. And sorry about that, there's gonna be a little hiccup in how I was presenting it. I had to um, restart Loom. But we have our backwards image we just took. We're going to click on Lanka to the logo, laptop screen, and now it will be right. And if we have her in the shirt with the logo, it's backwards, but I've already made the flip for that. Did I forget to go in and change logo? Sorry, I just changed the, um, the shirt. There we go. And I have my other tutorial that will show you how you can resize those. And yeah, there's a few extra steps when you flip it and it would be nice if it did it on its own, but it doesn't and it's not too much work to be able to change it to the right orientation in Create Studio. So I hope that helped.